In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at an integral with a discontinuous integrand. And so we're going to evaluate the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx. If f of x is defined by this piecewise function, we've got 2x if x is less than or equal to 2, and 1 if x is greater than 2. So to save a little bit of time, I have already sketched this function out. We've got this portion right here, which is my 2x if x is less than or equal to 2. And we've got this little line right here for uh, 1 if x is greater than 2. Now, taking a look at this picture, we can see that there is a single jump discontinuity right there at x equals 2. And for that reason, then it is common to say that this function f of x is piecewise continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 3. And what that's going to do then is that's going to allow us to easily integrate this and pretty much just using basic geometric shapes. I'm going to be able to integrate from 0 to 3 using a right triangle here and that geometric formula 1 half base times height and then adding that to whatever I get when I integrate from 2 to 3 using a simple square here which would be side squared. So the basis for being able to integrate this is because of this single jump discontinuity, which then allows us to say, okay, well, f of x is piecewise continuous on this interval. All right, so the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx is going to be equal to, I'm going to come down here so I have enough room here, the integral from 0 to 2 of f of x dx plus the integral from 2 to 3 of f of x dx. All right, and like I said, we're going to use geometric shapes here. So from 0 to 2, that is a right triangle. So I'm just going to use that basic geometric uh, formula of 1 half base times height. All right, that's going to give me a 1 half times the base there is 2. Height there is 4, which gives me an overall total there of 4. Okay, then I'm going to add to that the integral from 2 to 3. I'm going to use the area of a square. So side squared, one side of this is 1. So 1 squared is 1. That's going to give me an overall total limit of, or total integral of 5. Okay, so um, after you realize that you're, you can consider this function to be piecewise continuous on that closed interval, then you can break that integral up into two nice little integrals and then just do a straightforward integral um, with your geometric shapes. So definitely a specific case here. However, looking at those piecewise functions and seeing how you can deal with your integrals. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.